in the first beta, I was kind of playing mostly Ram, Faust, uh, Sato, and I tried a little Nako to Yuki. Um, in the second beta, I was kind of playing more. I wanted to play, I tried Angie, but I didn't really actually play any matches. I just kind of tried him in training for a little. I mainly played Eno in the second beta. I didn't really get to play too much. But now that the game is out, you know, and we have such a great cast of characters, this game, the thing about Good to Gear Strive is every character is pretty, not pretty, every character is very unique. Um, everybody's moveset is different. There's not really too much in common between, you know, everybody's moveset. So when I actually picked up Strive and started playing, I was playing um, mostly Zato again. I wanted to kind of work on him because He's definitely complex. I'll, I'll never actually be able to play Zato even half season, but I wanted to kind of play him. And after about an hour and a half, I got about I got pretty burnt out on um, Zato and all the setups. And it's just he kind of just has to work a little bit harder than some of the cast. Not to say he doesn't have a great move set. He does. It's just using Eddie is just it's a pain in the ass sometimes, especially if somebody just like. As soon as you throw him out, somebody just smacks him down, and now you got away from him to recover. But nonetheless, I got a little tired of it. I was just like, oh, man, this is too complex. Let me just take it back to the zoo. Just started playing the Silverback um, King Kong. So I was pretty tired actually when I even started playing him. But when I I switched from Zato to Soul, and not for nothing, I didn't really lab with Soul much. And I didn't really play much of Soul in any other Guilty Gear. Like, he wasn't somebody I played too much of in x or in the little bit that I played Plus R. I actually was playing a little bit more Holy Soul in Plus R. But nonetheless, I picked him up and it was just, he's ridiculously easy to play. He's, I know that the game has him listed as slightly harder to play than Kai. Him being four stars, Kai being five, but I actually think Soul's a little bit easier to play than Kai. Kai is all actually, Kai is the alter ego gorilla. He's just a sophisticated, classy gorilla. He is just as ridiculous, has just a fat tool set as Soul. He's just as easy to pick up. But Soul just has all his buttons, everything he does, it's like he takes he either takes priority it launches him forward almost all of his look at his look at his special moves this whole toolkit um, more than half of them actually launch him forward everything <laughs> everything launches him forward the only specials that don't actually launch him forward are gunflame faint and his command grab all throw like that's it all the others volcanic viper bandit revolver bandit ranger and night raid vortex all of them oh and fabric all actually have forward momentum like all of them like and he can do both bandit revolver and bring her in the air that gives him more air options but he has hella air options i mean let me not say he has hella air options but when it comes to just gorilla rush down tactics yeah he has plenty of things he could be doing to just throw himself at you launch himself at you like and don't get me wrong yeah a lot of it leaves him some of it leaves him negative but some of it isn't really that punishable depending on the spacing and what you do so he's his special moves okay ridiculous his buttons everything he just his 5k three frame a three frame button and it has decent range i mean the first hit is three frame at the knee closer in but three frames that's a really fast normal and he can jump cancel both of the hits out of, out of 5k he can, like, he can cancel that 3 frame 5k into command normals, into specials, and both of his command normals are pretty good, have their applications, like that uh, forward H, that, or 6HS, forward uh, heavy slash, it's good for catching uh, dash ups, dash ins, all kind of stuff, and the 6S, or forward triangle, Forward slash has, I think that's his furthest reaching normal. Like, it reaches far as shit. Like, it's a good poke, too. I mean, it's slow, 
as a, as opposed to like regular 5s but it's a, a decent range poke so his command normals are very very good let's not talk about his supers because mob cemetery has to be one of the cheapest supers in the game and it's very fitting that they gave it to this gorilla because it just comes down to a mind game thing and just reading attacks because it can go through anything anything I'll, i mean i'll put up a few examples that i got in the little amount of matches i got he's eaten through everybody's supers in the middle of their super not only that he has his special moves take priority sometimes and catch out of supers i mean not for nothing i know not all supers are invincible but the way he traded here with Zato's special, with, I mean with Zato's super, he traded, like he didn't get counter hit and hit first, they traded, that was ridiculous. Like, he had to use the whole 50 meter and I still killed him, like, and he used his special, like, and we traded. It'd be different if I counter hit him before the special, but like, he actually hit me, but we traded. So that, that was a cheap one, that was a cheap one, not gonna lie. Let's, all, let's talk about Zato in, in this whole realm for a minute because I have a few random things that happened with Soul against Sato that I was just like okay wow number one I mean obviously the mob cemetery going through a special is I mean you you know what's gonna happen you hate to see it but okay then bandit bringer trading with Sato's super was crazy but I think what took the cake was the fact that number one I didn't necessarily know or realize this Maybe I wasn't paying attention, but Zato's uh, other, his second super, the sword super, where Eddie is a sword and he tracks to where you are. Okay, how did Soul's 5P, regular 5P punch, punch Zato out of the super? Because the sword is a hurt box since it's Eddie. I didn't realize that, and it's not a zero frame invincible super. So I randomly just punch the sword before it hits me with 5p mash 5p and it literally punches the super and stops it like that was zato actually needs a bus i'm sorry but zato needs a little something like, he's i was saying that would not not go to yuki before but now that the game's out i'll make a separate video talking about not go to yuki i actually think he's one of the coolest people in the game just because of what he can do and i also didn't realize the way some of his normals just his slash and heavy slash the way that they get blood back we'll talk about that in a different video but my man's soul ridiculous let's not forget the fact that he has low profile and high profile attacks so he could be using that night ray vortex to just slide up on there slide up in them dms he just go slide up in there or he's got both bandit bringer and a revolver so both of those can high profile lows so if you want to keep doing a low cool i got this I mean, he doesn't have the command normal to jump over like some others in the cast, but he has the specials which aren't that hard, especially if they're trying to mash, trying to catch you out of block. If you're trying to do a block string and they're trying to mash or try to uh, 5k and you throw that special out, boom, counter hitting too. So it's like, he has a high profile attacks to get above. He has a low profile to get under. Granted, I mean, I know Night Raid Vortex isn't the best option, because it can be punished, but you know, still, it's an option to throw out there. And you can also hold, delay the hit. I mean, there really can't be much, you can't really complain much about his moveset. Like, if you're complaining about anything or saying he needs or needs buffs, no, you just, come on. Like, anybody, anybody that's playing Guilty Gear Tribe, if you're getting clapped with your main, whoever it is, just pick up, just play soul, and you'll see what I mean. You press a few buttons and you're like, oh shit, I won. Like, I really didn't have to do much. It just has frame advantage and he has his attacks have priority he's got invincibility he's got dp reversal all kind of all kind of full the full, whole nine yards of tool sets toolkits everything there's a whole mechanic out here a whole engineer a whole architect builder the full tool set everything the man's got it all he's got a projectile and let's not also talk about the mind game i mean he can be played at a higher level mind game shit with things like mixing up with command throw but gunflame faint that is sauce gunflame faint i love attacks like that just like i can't for the life of me and guilty gear strive really play milia but her little her dash k where she does a sidestep 
just like Nagori, I, I like those things. The gun faint, the fact that you could pump fake someone and they're like, oh, and then they run up. Like, I caught a few people slipping with it. Like, I, I like gun faint. Like, he has a full toolkit. He has everything to just play all types of tricks and mind games on you. Like, everything. And continuously mix you up, high, low, command grab, overhead, super. Like, he does ridiculous damage. There's nothing you can't complain about. What con can you say the man is ridiculous? He's broken. He's top gorilla. He is the boss character. Like my boy Juna said, he's all of that. He's he's actually a little bit too top tier OP broken, especially considering he's a main character. Like I mean, I know Soul's always been good in Guilty Gears, but he's like exceptionally good in this game. Like I think he, personally, I think he can be considered the best or top three for sure. Most games, like you know, Ragna is good. Don't get me wrong, Ragna is very good in in Blaze Blue too. He's a really good main character. Hyde is also a really good in um, Under Night. He has a good tool set. But this man right here, he's got it all. No, I, I'm not complaining. I'm not saying to nerf him. Because though I may not play him only, I, with every fighting game, I always end up playing multiple characters. I always play a character for a while, so it's come back. It's kind of get bored of the same old, same old. Like, try different things, do different things. So I'll end up switching characters. He can always be somebody I come back to because it's, it's easy. Get big damage off of all kinds of things. Anything can confirm into something. Basically, like he's ridiculous. Like, the man can counter hit, sweep into 5K. He can sweep, and this is no RC, no RC. He can sweep and then carry the combo out off of a counter hit because his 5K is so damn fast, and then take you into the air and come like ridiculous. He he can do it all. Anybody that's saying, oh man, but uh, no, he's ridiculous. He doesn't need anything else. He has everything that he can possibly need. He's got a good run speed. He's got that goofy uh, Scooby-Doo uh, uh, shaggy run where he just slides up on you and command grabs. Like, just the way it works in the animation is just Gorilla Sauce. Like, that's what it is, Gorilla Sauce. Like, he is just letting you know he is king of the jungle. He's here to just stay at the top. I mean, we got, I think there's maybe three other contenders for, I would say there's a top four. He's definitely in there. I, I would say he's number one. If not, we'll call him number two. You got Soul, his alter, um, classy, gorilla ego, uh, Kai. You got third, actually, originally, I think this person was the most ridiculous from beta. And it's still ridiculous, but, you know, I just, I'm not sure if better than Soul. Ram, for sure. Because Ram's a little stupid ass. Um, slash and heavy slash are just ridiculously far reaching normals. And that's basically every Ram player's uh, button in their controller consists of two buttons and no directions. And they just press it, slash every slash. Don't at me. And of course, the last, well, not last, but another kind of easy to play because of the way the mechanics are set up in the game, Gorilla, is May, the little dolphin rider. All right. Aqua Woman. She also has great buttons. She's plus on damn everything. She has frame advantage with all of her dolphins. Like, even on block, if I'm not mistaken. Like, you can't really punish her, so it's like, she's ridiculous. All her dolphins. The charges for her attacks are like really easy and like, not really easy, I'm sorry. Charging, charge attacks in this game, the charge is a shorter hold than most other fighting games. So it's like, it's actually kind of quick. The fact that you could double up dolphins, like combo dolphin, dolphin in the dolphin when you get the timing right, is ridiculous. But I definitely think Soul takes a kick. His super can be one of the reasons for sure, because it's ridiculous. You can catch somebody out of damn near anything. Well, no, you can't catch somebody out of anything. It is an unblockable command grab as long as they don't jump or they're not stuck in like wake up animation. Outside of that, you're getting got. I see you backdash. As soon as I see the backdash, as long as I'm on point, I'm catching you out of the backdash. Like, it's that quick. The, the super is quick. Like, any button that they press, they throw out slash, heavy slash, or anything that has any bit of recovery. Even full screen, you throw shit out. Boom. Uh, where are you going? Oh, you threw out a super. Oh, okay. The way that I caught me when, well, actually, I was I threw the super first, and I think they threw out the super thinking it was gonna be a super face off, but like I snatched her right from that way. I was just like, yo, where are you going? Like, 
you're around it. Like, she's screaming for Johnny. Like, Johnny ain't here to save you. He's not here yet. He's going to be DLC, but he's not here yet. So you, Johnny's not coming to save you. So the big gorilla is just going to beat you. I mean, you're a little gorilla. She's a, she is also a gorilla, but you got one of the best supers in the game. He's good. He's cheap as all hell. Like, so it's so many ways that you could use it. Let's not. Comboing into his other super is also ridiculous. And then it wall splats. The other super is fairly strong, especially you could use it as, if you want to be saucy, like an anti-air. Caught a few people with it, like trying to uh, instant air dash and shit. He has options, he has good frame advantage, he has good buttons. Guilty Gear Stride removed, in a sense, they kind of changed the way the Gatlings work and made them less of like longer strings. There's not as many Gatlings as there was in Exert but he definitely still takes advantage of that by having just such a diverse toolkit that like he can still having, you know, multiple uh, command normals that he can combo off of things from. And then also the way that so many of his moves juggle too. Like, he just, if you don't know who to play, you wanna win, you just wanna press buttons, you don't wanna really try to learn how to get, play the game, you're just like, fuck it, I'm gonna start playing, I'm gonna fuck somebody up, just, because that's how I feel without practice. Just pick and you press buttons, you'll realize you're like, oh, okay. Just press a few of these here and there. And he's a pretty wild character. No pun intended by that move, but he's got it all. You don't know who to play, pick him up. You might get bored of him. You might get bored of winning. Well, let me not say he can, because he can't at full screen. But to an extent, he can also deal with the zoning. He could at least cancel out with gun flame. Fairly easy to pick up. If it come, when it comes down to simple to pick up characters in this game, it's the simplest. You pick them up, start pressing buttons, and you win. If you don't know who to play, or you haven't got the game yet for some reason, or you got it and you've just been busy, and you're like, or you've been playing somebody like Zato, and you've just been getting spanked, and you're like, man, taking the time to learn this character is difficult. Like, me, I so you go back to Zato and appreciate him. But play a little slow to clear your mind and just do some gorilla press buttons and get ones. I don't know about that. You know, when UI Goku first came out in Fighter Z, he was you know, a little fun. Not no. That's that's a different broken. That's a different broken. Like Soul might be kind of broken in this game, but a lot of characters in this game are broken. This, but yeah, and so far, the, this game is, is awesome, and beautiful. Um, I don't really have too much to complain about. I know that, you know there's a lot of people complaining about the damage system, this and that, characters and changes from the last game, but. So far, I'm loving the game. I can't really complain about too much. Um, that's all I got for my little soul discussion clips and stuff for today. Um, I'll definitely be doing some more videos like this with other characters. You know, kind of talking about breaking down what I think, what I like about them. Um, so check back for some more good to get sharp content. Um, I'm also going to have a little, a few video, it's not really a series, but like a few videos that I had recorded actually before Stripe got put out, but I was just finishing editing with work and everything. But I'm gonna have a few videos of KOF 2002 UM. So uh, check back for that if you're interested uh, playing the game, you know, if I'm gonna play controller hitbox and then picking the team, going online. It's gonna be thing, it's the videos are kind of like that. So uh, KOF is definitely an awesome game. I'm gonna be playing some more KOF. It's just, you know, Stripe came out, I've been playing Stripe, but. Check back for more of either KOF 2002. You guys get a shrive. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching this video. And we'll catch you guys next time.